We are here in northern Arizona, home to the San Francisco peaks. It is a mountain range that consists out of more than 600 volcanoes. Millions of years of geological history created this diverse landscape. Come and join us in exploring the peak's volcanic field. The San Francisco peaks, just north of Flagstaff, are remainders of a volcano called the San Francisco Mountain. The mountain erupted several times during the past 3 million years. During its 6 million year history, this volcanic field has produced more than 600 volcanoes. With peaks rising to nearly 13,000 feet and the state's youngest volcano, Sunset Crater. Museum of Northern Arizona docent Jerry Snow says the San Francisco peaks were formed over many years. The last eruption on the San Francisco mountain was probably at least uh, 200,000, over 200,000 years ago. And that might have been when the uh, mountain actually blew its top. Because uh, it looks like the mountain, if you follow the slopes up, the mountain stops here and the slopes are coming up and then there's a crater uh, in the, what we call the inner basin. And it looks like if you project the slopes of the mountain up, that it was probably two or 3,000 feet higher than it is today. There are three main types of volcanoes in the San Francisco volcanic field. Stratovolcanoes, lava domes, and cinder cones. The eruption of the stratovolcano, San Francisco Mountain, formed the San Francisco peaks as they are today. The youngest volcano in the San Francisco peaks is Sunset Crater, a cinder cone located just north of Flagstaff. The Sunset Crater Visitor Center is the hotspot to obtain information about this specific cinder cone. Sunset Crater Ranger Michael Evans tells how Sunset Crater was formed. Uh, well, it's a volcanic region in terms of the mantle and magma that lies underneath us. Uh, that stretches all the way from Bill Williams Mountain in the town of Williams to Sunset Crater here where we're standing. Uh, a total of 600 volcanoes uh, in the area uh, in which it uh, spits a lot of cinders out of the top where a lot of the lava will come out from the base of the volcano, almost thick like honey or syrup and it will flow slowly over the ground, cooling as it goes, and that forms the, the lava bed that we have today. There's a lot to see and explore around Sunset Crater. The Lennox Trail, for example, leads to a high point which provides a beautiful view on the peaks and Sunset Crater. The Lava Flow Trail winds through lava flows and cinder fields at the base of Sunset Crater. It's a one mile loop through an amazing volcanic landscape. Although San Francisco Mountain has not had a violent eruption for over 200,000 years, MNA docent Jerry Snow says a new eruption could occur in the future. So maybe every thousand years or so we have a, an explosive eruption here that creates a cinder cone. So if that was 2,000 years ago, Sunset Crater was 1,000 years ago, maybe it's time for another one. So stay tuned. For sneak peek, I am Tamara van der Bergen.